Tammy Utley. Today we're going to be doing a springtime cupcake cake. We're going to be making wafer paper per or rice paper butterflies and we're going to be decorating our cupcakes very simply so the butterflies will show up and we're also going to be creating wrappers to go around our cupcakes. So we're going to need quite a few things today. Um, first of all I'm going to be using buttercream for my cupcakes um, but I'm going to make flowers out of fondant. So I've got a little bit of pink fondant here and of course some edible glitter. And I've got some sugar pearls in a couple different colors. I have a, a couple different cutters here to do the flowers for my cupcakes. Really doesn't matter, just get any shape you want. You want a fairly small cutter. Um, I also need to have some very small scissors, some um, food color pens. I'll need some, this is 26 gauge wire. It doesn't have to be paper color, cuttered, um, covered wire, but it can be a white wire we would prefer. I have some, I'm going to need some foil, I'll show you how to bend this, and some royal icing. I need a large star tip, this happens to be a magic line tip, that's a 4FT, um, but you could use um, any large star tip, a 1M, anything you, you desire to decorate your cupcake with. Some parchment paper. We're also going to need some wafer paper or rice paper. This you can find at your local cake shop, one side is kind of bumpy and one side is kind of smooth. And you'll need some sort of image of a butterfly. Now I just used a cookie cutter that I had and then just drew inside. I mean, they just have kind of veiny things in there. You can get a real image on the internet. You can actually um, Google images of butterflies um, on the internet very easily. Just, uh, you know, type in copyright free butterfly and uh, you'll get all sorts of um, pictures that come up and you can just print those and adjust them to size. We are going to need a small angled spatula and I really recommend this because we're going to be using it with piping gel. So I really recommend using one of these because they work the best. And then a spatula for my frosting. To do the wrappers for our cupcakes we're going to need a few things. One is a glue stick and some scissors to cut it out with. Um, you can use either a doily. As you can see I've got, um, this was from a gold doily and this is just a plain white doily. These are 10 inch doilies. Or you can use, this is wrapping paper that I cut up, and I'm going to show you how I made the pattern. Um, that is just wrapping paper, and this is embossed wrapping paper. And then I used um, these decorative scissors. I believe they use them for scrapbooking, um, which I don't do, but I do have some of these scissors. And the punches to make your own wraps if you don't want to use the doilies. This is a little more time consuming. This is quicker, but this you can um, adjust to whatever your occasion is. If you were doing... Um, a birthday party or some sort of something special that has a special type of wrapping paper you could use for it, it would be better. Okay, we're also going to put our cupcakes on a, in an arrangement, which I'll show you at, towards the end. We're going to have a fabric and we'll have a, a stand to put our cupcakes on to arrange them. Okay, so let's get started. 